NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. But wait, don't leave yet. There is still more to know. Like, what about NACA? Hey, curious kids, Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, we are talking about NASA. Did you know that before NASA, there was this thing called NACA? Say what? All right, so on October 1st, 1958, NACA became NASA. So what was NACA? Well, NACA stood for National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics and started on March 13th, 1915. NACA focused mostly on planes because it was in 1905, just 10 years earlier, when the first plane flew. Its mission was to, quote, supervise and direct the scientific study of the problems of flight, end quote. Fast forward to 1957, when Sputnik, the first artificial satellite, was launched into space by Russia. Now, the United States saw this and went, uh, uh-oh, and created NASA the very next year. This signaled the start of the space race. Who was going to put the first human in space? Who was going to be the first to go and land on the moon? Now NASA has grown significantly and expanded its focus. There are four large areas of study that NASA researches. The first one is called ARMD, which stands for Aeronautics Research Mission Directorate. Basically, it's planes, it's aviation, anything to do with flight within the atmosphere of Earth. The second one is HEOMD, H-E-O-M-D, and it stands for Human Exploration and Operations Directorate. Basically, it's astronauts, yep, sending people into space. The third one is SMD, the Science Mission Directorate. This is studying the Earth, the Sun, the planets, the moons. It's observing our universe, just looking out into the sky and be like, what's out there? And the last one is STMD, which stands for Space Technology Mission Directorate. And this is focusing on pioneering new technologies that we can implement into the other departments so that we can continue to explore space. I worked in number three, the science mission directorate mostly, but I have actually worked in all four areas. I did some aeronautics work when I was working at NASA Langley in Virginia, and then at NASA JPL, I actually did some work on human spaceflight with the astronauts. I did science and also technology. Lastly, let's take a look at NASA's logos. First, NACA had this one, which is just a simple set of wings, a shield in the middle, and the letters N-A-C-A -A right in the middle as well. Now, then NASA used the first logo, was called the meatball. The blue circle represents a planet. The stars represent space. The red V-shaped wing represents aeronautics. And the white circle orbiting around the letters, yep, that represents space travel. Then NASA used the worm logo for a while before switching back to the meatball. <laughs> but now in 2020, NASA is using both the meatball and the worm logo. Finally, there's the NASA seal, which is used for formal events, ooh, fancy, like award presentations and ceremonies. Now, on to trivia. The answer to last week's question of how long does it take the ISS to go around Earth is B, 90 minutes. This week's question is, who flew the first airplane? Is it A, Alan Shepard? B, Yuri Gagarin, C, the Wright brothers, or D, Baby Yoda. Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious.